Hey, what is up guys? Trex here and welcome back to episode 37 of Terraria 1.3TXW. Now 1.3.1! I bet you guys thought this day would never come back. The Let's Play lives on and quite a bunch has happened. Uh, I've been playing around. I've done a couple of those speed builds um, as sort of Terraria content just to pass the time by. But basically what I've been doing is I've been moving home uh, from our home at vault uh, at the vault all the way back to the spawn for our spawn village and hopefully we'll do some other stuff in the future. Uh, but a couple improvements duck a couple improvements. I from the speed build that you guys saw, I fixed the pirate ship a little so it has a bit more girth instead of being so awkward and small and now I really like how it looks except there's a whole bunch of water in the bottom now which I didn't Ugh. stupid Terraria why does this keep happening they just put water back in the boat every so often but that's a change from what you guys saw nailed it uh, what else did I do? So I built that. I built the wizard tower. I do like how the wizard tower came out. Although I do want to get some more demon torches from the underworld and put them all in here. But that's all I had at the moment. So I will fix that up in the future. Uh, and most notably, there was a pirate invasion. Um, there's all these gravestones. But I did get a cutlass out of it. I got three cutlasses out of it, actually. And then something crazy happened. I got not one... Not two, but, give me a second, give me a second, but, hold on, one more second, but three Nimbus rods, three Nimbus rods, all from Nimbus clouds, in like one afternoon, it rained like twice in, I think, three days of in-game time, and I got three Nimbus rods, and I'm not making this up, this actually happened, and I was like, what the heck, Traria, why? So, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty sweet. Three Nimbus Rods. These things are super useful, especially for um, uh, this early in hard mode. We'll be able to use these quite a bit and sell them as well. And then from the Pirate Invasion, I got a Cutlass, which is awesome because Cutlasses are some of my favorite swords in the game. Um, sorry, my chests are horribly disorganized at the moment. But yeah, Cutlasses are my favorite sword in the game, and I had the Palladium... Uh, sword, which has auto swing as well, but does 47 damage. The cutlass does 10 more damage than that. And where is that, by the way? Speaking of it, uh, I believe I put it... Yep, right in here. So here's the palladium sword. We'll use that to craft a legendary whatever sword later. As well as an ice edge. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Got the cutlass. Should probably figure that. And I'll figure that. And move there, or whatever. So yeah, got all that, uh, some more furniture that I'll use to decorate the pirate ship even more. But, one of the best things I did was I went exploring around a bit down in here, as you can see, uh, this area quite a bit as well, just all down this mine shaft, and I found 68 bars worth of palladium. Seriously, it was like 160-something ore, something like that, maybe 180-something ore. Yeah, to make 68, actually probably over 200 if it's 3 or per bar, 3 times 68 is 180 plus 24, is, yeah, 204 ore about, then I have 2 extra ore, so like 206 ore total, and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to see how much palladium stuff we can make, so I already have the palladium sword and the palladium pickaxe, and now I just want some palladium armor so that we can get some awesome palladium, uh, uh, some awesome heart mode armor and what did I want I wanted the I don't really care about magic and rain <sighs> are you serious as I was saying I don't really care about magic and range so I'm gonna make the helmet let me go ahead and misclick and craft the headgear gosh dang it okay well palladium is not too hard to find I should be able to still craft the rest of the suit of armor and then see if I can craft what I actually wanted to craft and then there's not much beyond that that I wanted, so... Yeah, that was a thing. Dang it. Anyways, let's do this. 
Palladium breastplate, check. Palladium leggings, check. And thank goodness, we can still craft ourselves the palladium mask. That's what I wanted, not the helmet. I misspoke, but what I wanted was the mask. So yeah, now we have some palladium headgear. That's unfortunate. We'll switch all that out. Set bonus greatly increases life generation. Oh, look at that! We've got little effects! Dude, that's sweet! Let's see how this looks without the reflective gold dye. I don't know. Uh, where's my feral claws? I'll see how I want it to look. Um, <laughs> I'll determine how I, how I look later when I have access to my dyes and don't have to waste time on camera. But yeah, now we're left with two bars of palladium. Uh, we'll keep the headgear anyways, so that we can put on an armor stand later with some complete sets. But yeah, that was kind of annoying. But still, we got a full set of hard mode armor. That's not too shabby. And I really like the set bonus, especially the little particle effects. So that's nice. Uh, we are all decked out now. This is pretty sweet. We got the cutlass, pickaxe. We just need to upgrade our weapons a bit and these hammers. Seriously, I need to. I don't want to have to carry around both a pwn hammer and a meteor hammax anymore. Um, I just want to have to carry around one. But for now, I'm stuck with those. Uh, oh, also, uh, traveling merchant came, and I got a DPS meter. So that's just another stat towards the whatever it's called, Great Divide or whatever. That's a bluebell ice cream flavor. If you're living in England and you're crying right now because your economy is failing, Bluebell is possibly the most delicious ice cream in the world. Uh, it probably beats out Cornetto, though I've never tried it. I've only seen the trilogy. Um, but Bluebell in Texas is right next to Whataburger. It's pretty big, pretty important. And there's a Bluebell scare last year where it got uh, infected with some disease that begins with an L. I'm a careless American and don't really care about what it was as I wasn't affected. So, yeah, that that was a thing. And we didn't have Bluebell for like six months. And it was probably the worst time of my life. It was comparable to the Dust Bowl. Um, not, it, it wasn't really. But it was not too fun with all that uh, Bluebell missing because it's such an important part of culture. And when it came back, we had a feast. And I bet everybody gained a pound that day. Alright, so, enough about Bluebell. What I'm doing now is I'm going to the mechanic. I'm going to buy up all these wiring things, as well as the mechanical ruler. Whoa. And the mechanical lens. And now, what I'm... How? What? This is cool. Yeah, this is real cool. Real weird looking. Like, how do I get it off? How do I... I don't know what I'm doing. Um... Anyways, but I believe if we take this to a Tinker's Workshop, we can create the Multicolor Wrench. Yeah. Sorry about that. And then, if we go to the Wiki... As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the game crashing, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and get rid of our mechanical ruler because it's actually the ruler that's part of the grand design, which is what we are trying to make. And then we're going to go to the anvil. And once we're there, if I can find it, it's under accessories, I believe. Well, darn! I'm just not doing well today, am I? No. I thought I... Do I not have a ruler already? Guess not. Okay, well, we can buy one from the Goblin Tinker, I believe. That's who sells the ruler, right? We're going to sell her back her laser mechanical ruler because it is annoying. And then we're going to go up here, buy a ruler from him. Alright, I don't care about gold right now. Oh, the ruler does a, a whole bunch more. 
Now, instead of just feeling that, so the mechanical, what, what, what's it called? Yeah, mechanical ruler, what it does is it, so what the ruler used to do was fill the screen with grid, like the mechanical ruler did, um, and that would, was what you have, but now the ruler shows these measurements. Okay, enough blibber blabber. Is that a word? I don't care. Anyways, let's go in here, let's create ourselves. The grand design, ultimate control over wires. Ooh, and it places wires too. That's cool. All right, so let's see how this thing works. Uh, we get the little display. Oh, and if I click it, it goes to wire remover. And I don't want it to show. <gasps> oh my gosh! Look at that. No way, that is awesome. Okay, this is the best thing. Alright, well, that's the grand design. So we can switch between placement and removal. And basically, that's it. So, uh, and do I still have a laser roll in my inventory or something? Why won't this go away? I don't know, it must be a bug. Anyways, guys, Terraria episode 37, 1.32XW. Thank you all so much for watching. Um,. A whole lot has happened, and I'll keep working off screen. And don't worry, there will be more speed builds as well. And how do I get this darn ruler thing off my screen? I don't know. I'll. I guess I'll just have to put it back. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Cherry 1.32 XW. Uh, sadly, the Steam sale's over, so Cherry can't be got a discounted price anymore. But I might be having a giveaway soon because I've got a couple extra copies. Anyways, see you all next time, and goodbye.